when I came in to the group, my my main thing was that I'm really insecure of having sex and really uh, have a lot of limiting beliefs around um, my ability to please women. And so yesterday I had a really good experience. <clears throat> I had sex. I was worried to come fast and I was able to communicate that. We were taking it really slowly. And then at a, at, at a certain point, I was able to go as long as I wanted. Yeah, this, this belief is completely gone. So I feel pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> When she was coming over, or the time before, I was uh, what I was rewatching the the last class, like just be. So whatever thought comes up, just be. And the stronger sense of self allows you to just be, and just being reinforces the stronger sense of self. <laughs> feels like an obsession um like i start fantasizing um that it has to be this way it the fantasy was there four months ago also you know when i had the date and then it kind of slipped away and this this old girl came back in and now this old girl is slipping away and i'm i'm, I'm talking to this new girl and in indeed yeah this fantasy is coming up again but it's like I'm, I'm all in, you know? So the consistent thing is losing yourself to somebody else, whether it's the new devil, the old devil or a new devil. So we know that we know that it's not just this girl, not the old devil. It might just be Peter. And it will always play out, which means that it can be fixed by Peter, in Peter. Yeah, I see that. I also noticed that, because this is a really pretty girl, I, I also noticed that it might be, the reason I want it that way is for the accomplishment that other people might see that I'm worthy of a beautiful girlfriend. Like, look at me. This is my pretty girl. You see, I can have a pretty girl. <laughs> That's something I noticed as well. You should have a pretty girl. For you. Not for anybody else. Yeah. What would it be like to have a pretty girl for you? See, notice how the beauty is for you. Notice how in what ways you don't need to show this to anybody else. So close your eyes. Come and, come and relaxed. Let the calmness and relaxation be like a compass for what relationships feel like.
even more calm and relaxed. Focusing on your exhale, making each successive exhale a little bit longer than the previous. Allowing your breath to return to normal. Imagine yourself floating on soft, warm clouds. And these clouds will take you to a place that's especially safe and secure. Floating along to your safe place now. Four. Three, floating along so gently and comfortably. Two, one, settling in your safe place. So now you change the scene and imagine all of the nervousness around wanting other people to see how pretty your girlfriend is. What goes into that in you emotionally, power-wise, psychologically, the feelings of power from their recognition. Noticing how it's coming from the outside in. All the feelings that you can get from them go through them approval and so on. Notice how it's coming from the outside and you can feel it. It has a direction to it. Describe the, the context of getting what you need from the outside in. What is it like? feels good it's like it strengthens the ego it doesn't doesn't matter what anyone thinks really get filled up with it have no shame here So get a real feeling for this ego. Get a real feeling. Maybe maybe you can notice it geographically. Being being proud. Feel it in my my, my chest. And it only exists as long as they're there showering you with appreciation and approval. Or they just think you're so great. Everyone's your bitch. And, but not even you. It's just they notice how hot the girl is. And then they look at you and they're like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in a place where there's a lot of people, also friends, and I'm with her, and everybody's looking at her and then at me. And feels good, yeah. Okay, so now all these people disappear, change the scene, everyone disappears. And she disappears too. Now you're alone.
And now you change the scene and describe the qualities of secure intimacy that are present. Seems less about how she looks, but more about uh, how I'm feeling when I'm with her. Just uh, calm, safe. I don't have to worry that she will leave me. Why not? What are the qualities <clears throat> that are present? Communication, honesty, and understanding. So keep all these and now make her as hot as you want. Make her hot. Hold both those two together at the same time. Real attraction. Continue to explore secure intimacy. Keep discovering that in the context of real attraction. That's difficult. I notice then when I make her really hot that I kind of want to shy away or like don't give all of myself. Rediscover the qualities that allow you to just be with her without needing to do anything. Explore those some more. Go right into them from a strong sense of self. You allow the qualities of equality to enter into the present moment and describe those as they come. Yeah, we're, we're equals. She's, I'm no better than her or she's no better than me because she's hot. Why? She's hot. Calmness, peace, affection, sexual attraction, res respect, love. Notice how it affects your state of mind. Become familiar with this. Feels familiar indeed. Equality and attraction. Keep taking it in. Come to see that you belong here.
What's that like? Better. Nothing that needs to be done. The quality is just present. The just being is the basis. Nothing needs to be done. In fact, the less you try to do, the more familiar it is to be with her. And in fact, it increases the attraction. And it's normal, but it's extraordinary. You're producing this wonder the attraction is arousing and arising in you. It belongs to you. It's your original innocence, discovering of what arises in you. The absolute wonder that your body is capable of. fulfilling no agenda just being with a beautiful woman and I I feel the attraction in me is uh, I don't know if it's the same attraction but I also feel the attraction in her your attraction belongs to you it is your strong sense of self. And hers has its own colors. And there's zero threat. Her attraction belongs to her. And yet you're both the beneficiaries. You both benefit from the attraction that lives in this air in this moment. Without doing anything, you receive its warmth, its dynamism, its horniness, its curiosity. You both just let it flow through the moment. You have freedom to give to her as you become more confident in the arising of attraction as your own, it's very different than the ego fulfillment that you felt when others were watching. So come to see that and discover that. And you can describe it free of agency, free of doing free of hope, it's just there. Feels fulfilling. Take that in. Your natural state, the strong sense of self. And in time, you come to see that there's no separation between this, what's arising in you and what's compelled or prompted by her presence. It's one dance and it's a dance between the other and what's arising in you. And you're powerful in that. 
you're alive in that. Be in the arousal and arising and the attraction, you and her together. Take that in. Making a deep mental impression how it affects your state of mind. <laughs> 